All right, bit insidious. It's Buffy and all her friends. Who are you? Mr. Sasselot. You ever wonder why nobody cool ever wants to hang out with you? I'm <laughs> just thankful. <laughs> Before you got kicked out. <laughs> okay, uh, Buffy, I know that you're a very good person, very nice person, but I'm just saying slap a bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? Be careful. <laughs> She might beat you up. All right. Damn it, I'm sorry. I got called out. That's fair. You you took the high ground, mate. Well done. Lance! Okay, what are these guys about, man? They're such pests. Hey, Kyle. So oh, of course he's called Kyle. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm so sorry. I, I would just like to put out a public apology to any Kyles watching. I'm so sorry. It's a great name. Well done. I don't know why I'm saying well done because like you, you didn't give yourself the name. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. And if you did, fair play to you. I'm getting too much into the Kyle thing. That's fair. Welcome, Kyle. Welcome all Kyles. Except this one. Hey. Guys, come on. Oh, wait, it's got my notes in there. What's going on here? Oh, my God. Yes, dude. Come in. I've had it up to here with you four. Where? He didn't signal. Did I ask you to speak? Nice. Lance? Oh, don't ask him the truth. You saw, was... <sighs> you saw what was happening, my friend. You know it. Come We're on. Just take around. power, take control. All right. Come on. I'll be watching you. That blaze is powerful. Use the power. Oh, my man. You came through big time. Ugh. Way to go, Lance. Shut up, Kyle. We're gonna check out the hyena house. Oh no. Oh, he's going in. He's going in the hyena pit. What are Kyle and his buds doing with Lance? Oh, playing with him is right. a cat plays with a mouse. Well, every school has them. Desks, some blackboards, and some mean kids. He's not wrong. Well, I better track Lance oh, before. I'll handle it. This job doesn't require actual slaying. Okay, dude. Um, Zan, okay. Very confident. Fair yeah, enough. Hey, I'm good. Kyle and those guys are jerks, but they're all talk. Are you sure? Mostly. Okay. Why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? Yeah. Oh, hold it, hold it. Are you blind or are you just illiterate? Oh, come on. No, no one's going in there. Okay, no, maybe you should send this guy in. It's a quarantine. These hyenas just came in from Africa. Amazing. So keep out, even if they call your name. What? The Maasai tribesman told me that hyenas are capable of understanding. Oh, God. They follow humans around by day. And the campfire dies. They call out to a person. Well. The pack. Why are you being this weird to like teenage girls, dude? This is a very weird thing to tell people. Oh man, this episode's called The Pack. I thought werewolves, but is it like some, I don't know. Are they, are they, are they, all I'm saying is, are these some f***ed up hyenas? I feel it coming. I don't see any hyenas. Oh dear. Okay, werewolves. Werewolves are back on the menu, boys. No, that's a hyena. Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, fair enough. That's a hyena. Yep, let's go. Stop, guys. <laughs> Stop. Amazing. Stop. Go on, Xander. Get in there, dude. You're on nice. Species. What are you gonna get in my face? Do it. I'm here for this, Sander. Come on, my friend. Uh, what is that lighting? <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, mind control hyenas. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair. I'm here for this. Fair enough, man. I'm. I'm in. I am suckered. Yeah, dude. Get out. No. <laughs> it's chill, man. Just run. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Am I gonna like this version of Xander more? <laughs> oh no. Was he in good spirits? He was quiet. Did he tell a joke and find it hilarious? His moods, his blood pressure. 130 over 80. Well. You got it bad, girl. Yeah, Willow. He makes my head go tingly. What? Has he been hitting you, Willow? Even for a dangerous and mysterious older man whose leather jacket you're wearing right now. Oh, I thought she meant the master. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? He's just, he's never around. All he wants to do is talk about vampires. He is a little bit obsessed, yeah. There he is. Angel? Oh. Okay, no, maybe he's more weird now. Fair enough. <laughs> She's just like, what? Girls. Boy. <laughs> what is this? Well, it was my buttery croissant. Very rude. Birds live on this. I love how their uh, depiction of like, if you're cool and hip and people like you, your hair's just a little quiffed. <laughs> all I'm saying is my hair's quiffed, all right? Come on, come on, put it in the comments. That's all I'm saying, stroke my ego. Do you know what I mean? What are you doing? You're watching the video, get in, get in the comments. Get in the comments, say something nice. Say something nice. 
mention my eyes, I don't know. Mention my nose and how pointy it is, I like that. I don't I don't know why I said that, I'll be honest with you, let's move on. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back a little bit because that makes it seem like I'm self-conscious about my nose. I don't, I like my nose, that's fair enough, okay? I'm just saying love yourselves, okay? You don't need a quiff. You don't need a quiff, okay, to love yourself, it's fine, okay? If you've got no quiff, you're fine, you're cool, you're, you're good looking, I like it. What have you done today? You look so good. Oh my goodness, oh, stop it. Hey, no, behave yourself, don't, hey! Hey, right, this is this is a professional environment, okay? We're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> okay, we got derailed a little bit, that's fair. All right, I apologize, that's my fault. It's entirely my fault, let's move on. D no. Okay, now what? You took a bath. Do not sniff her like that again, please. That's okay. My man. And okay, no, he got- the behavior award goes to- Yeah, he got more weird. Did not think it was possible, but hey, there's a little bit of an accolade there, I feel. I don't know why, I don't know what. Oh god, could you imagine if they just start making out? Oh my god, this is so intense, this- Oh, the tension! The tension's killing me! Okay. Oh good, nice, we're on, we're on to our quotas of kicks for this episode, I like it, perfect, you know what I want? And you give it to me. Oh! That is not feasible, is it? That, no, come on, I'm so sorry. That has not got, that has no power. That has absolutely no power. You cannot tell me that kick had any power. I loved it. I did. Of course she just grabbed it. Why is everyone scared of a pig, man? It's so cute. Herbert, a new man. Amazing, even cuter. He's so cute. He's not cute. No. What? He's cute. Nothing wrong with being cute, dude. He's mean. He's ready for action. See? Here are the tusks. Yeah, good. He's a mean boy. I like it. Fair enough. He can be whatever he wants to be. Because otherwise you'll flunk math. Explain the part where that's bad. All right, bad boy. You end up being the guy at the pizza place that sweeps the floor. Yeah, but like, hear me out. Like, free pizza because all I'm saying. Ah, that's better. It goes right to the source of the pain. Not being funny. He's not changed that much, dude. I'm sorry, I don't want to be that guy. Oh, don't. Oh, he's gonna eat the pig. All right, she's getting sus. Let's go to Giles with it. Where's Giles, man? What's he doing? Dodgeball. The rules are as follows. You dodge. The ball. Okay, we well, could have finished the sentence, mate. Not gonna lie, I love dodgeball. I really love dodgeball. Oh man, Xander's gonna beat her, and that's gonna be the next. It's gonna be the nail in the coffin, innit? Man, this is the tamest game of dodgeball I've ever seen. <laughs> like the whole... <laughs> I'm not being funny, man. I play dodgeball, I'm dipping, I'm diving, I'm dodging. We've all seen the film. Come on. But for real, like you're diving on the ground, you're hitting the ground, but you don't care because you dodged it, man. Oh, it's so intense. I'll be honest with you. Ooh. Uh, okay. What? Are they going to throw him? What? So it's like a show of force, like show of dominance in front of, you know, the Slayer. Yeah, she sees. Oh, okay. Nothing going on behind those eyes at all. Fair enough. How is the, how is the coach not being like, what, what is happening? Oh, there is. This game is brutal. <laughs> what? No, it wasn't. I love it. Okay, what? Okay, coach is weird. What is happening at this high school? I swear. Even without all the weird stuff, it's, it's, it's odd. I feel like I need to tell you something. I've, um... Don't you hurt her. I've decided to drop geometry. Oh. Which means I won't have to look at your pasty face. <gasps> <laughs> Hit him. Hit him in the box, mate. I give you permission. <laughs> oh, poor Willow. <laughs> yeah, dude, come on. Take it to him. Hit him. You gonna say something to me? Yeah, boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs. Oh, please, please have like a bark off. Do you know what I mean? Like this group is just on one side, the dog's barking at them and they're just like, they're just, they're just stood there like <laughs> Oh, it would be so funny. You're sharing. What? Friends like to share. Okay, no, this is, this is way weirder than what I had in mind, which is surprising. I'll be honest with you. Uh, oh no. No, the pig. Oh, come on guys. Come on. Let's do lunch. <laughs> don't say it to his bottom. Please, don't, like, just have some respect. You know, say it to his face. Because it just looks like he wants to eat. Uh, forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is this is the feeling that eating a pig, like a whole live pig gives you. Yeah, yeah. It's like an advert for eating pigs. What's this about, man? <laughs> oh, he likes it. Hello. 
Okay, well, this is edgy. My guy, how is he in the vicinity every time? My friend, <laughs> why is it so weird? It's very weird. Kind of in the best way, I will be honest with you. I'm kind of enjoying the weird at this point, actually. <laughs> They're playing it so serious, I love it. It's kind of making it work more. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I don't know if I can play this song, but it's really funny. Or maybe there's something wrong with me. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I hate this, though. Oh, she's so hurt. Fair play to her, though. He's not picking on you. He's just sniffing you. Oh, oh Alison sold that. That went right to my heart. Something's going on. Good, yes. And uh, there's a noticeable change in both clothing and demeanor. Otherwise, all his spare time spent lounging about with imbeciles. He's going to be like, it's just puberty. He's a teenage boy. He's turned into a 16 year old boy. Yeah. <laughs> of course you'll have to kill him. Giles. Nice. Wait, no, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was so quick to, sorry. I apologize. I do. There is something supernatural at work here. They prey on the weak. Ever since we went to the zoo. Good. See? Hey, she's clever. It took her, it took her putting that together and making that connection. Hey man, hey. To actually solving this. Cause like, I feel like other than that, if Buffy hadn't done that, no one else would have. Giles didn't believe her. It shows she isn't just that physical, combative slayer. She is also clever. She's intelligent. As much as like last episode played around with her not being so much of a bookworm and studious and all that stuff. And fine, you can put it down to, you know, well, it's a very simple thing to connect the dots on, but it's like, is it? But like legitimately, if she hadn't worked that out, Giles would have just been like, he's being a teenage boy. And who's to say that, you know, he wouldn't have just, I don't know, whatever's happening, wouldn't have just stuck and taken and they let him go. And then he's part of that group and he's just doing that. And that never gets fixed, right? And then Xander essentially dies, I guess, right? Hey, it's the Slayer's job after all, and she's doing it well. And it's not just the physical stuff that she's good at. The pig? Dead and also eaten. Mm. What are you gonna do? Get my books. <laughs> Look stuff up. Nice. You four! Nice, get him. What? Oh, don't think I don't know. Oh, he's not got his power blazer on though. Today was the day of all days. How is Herbert? Crunchy. <laughs> Excuse me. That's it. Wow. Yeah, no, for real. That's evidence. The Maasai and the Serengeti have spoken of animal possession for, for generations. Mm. To them, the animal state is holy. They're able through transpossession to, to draw the spirit of certain animals into themselves. That's super cool. I do love... And hey, it's the strength of the show that, again, I, you know, and I'm looking back to the, uh, the, the Prey and Mantis episode, right, as well. It's such a colourful, uh, eclectic plethora of monsters and lore and mythology that the show's drawing on. And it's really nice to see. I, I've mentioned it before, and I think I mentioned it in the Mantis episode as well. And I like that. I like that, you know, they're doing something different with Monster of the Week stuff and, you know, drawing on stuff that is cool and maybe isn't necessarily... I, I didn't particularly know about that specifically. I'm enjoying, you know, being educated in that way too, right? I like it. It just, it keeps it fresh. And the fact that they're drawing on such, not obscure, I guess, but uh, less traveled uh, monsters and myths, it opens the door later down the line, right, to kind of revisit the vampires, for example, the more traditional monster that, you know, at least we in the Western world you know, depict quite often in our media. I'm focusing on that more heavily later down the line and it, and it feeling fresh still by doing this earlier on. And also it just draws you in more. I think, you know, if you do this kind of thing, it does, it makes it more interesting. Cause like you do, you go into the episode of the week and you're not sure what you're gonna find, right? This episode was called The Pack and I was like, okay, werewolves. And it's like, no, no, not at all. And actually I'm so glad for it. This is so much more interesting. Mm. Who this? Please start barking at her. I just want it. I don't know why. I, I, you know, it'd just be really funny. I know that's not what hyenas. Amazing. Been waiting for you to jump my bones. Oh. Ugh. No, I'm so sorry. I know hyenas don't bark. I just, I, I got it in my head. I don't know why. Because they mentioned dogs, okay? You're on the pill. What is it with you? Are they going to eat him? Oh, this is very weird. Get off of me. Is that what you really want? Yeah. What? We both know what you really want. Don't do that. Dangerous and mean, right? Like angel. I see. So I guess it takes things in the person and accentuates them with no control, right? Because this is Xander. It's not Xander, but it is. I tell you how this is going to work. I'll tell you what, this is probably the closest I'm going to get to them barking at him, to be fair. I'll take this. This is a win. Woo! Please. That is it! <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you, Buffy gods. 
Amazing, I love it. Oh my god, we can stop. We can stop it there. We can stop the Buffy episode right there. The Buffy trip. I think I am complete. I am complete. <laughs> oh my, that made my day. That made my day. I can't believe it happened. <laughs> stop pretending that we aren't attracted. <laughs> Good. Until Willow stops kidding herself that I could settle with anyone but you. I like it when you're scared. Well, yeah, kind of a uh, representations, I guess, of what girls have to do with in school, right? And if they don't like a guy, but he likes them. There is very much this, I guess, narrative in, you know, men's heads of like, just keep going. Just keep trying, right? Which is so toxic. Some of the stuff that girls have to deal with. Uh, granted, this is a very uh, exaggerated version of that. I mean, well, in some cases, maybe not, honestly. Exaggerated in the sense that, you know, it's not a, a, a hyena spirit. That's fair. Okay, fair enough. But girls do. They do. They absolutely, you know, I'm not looking to speak for them. But, you know, I have girlfriends that speak about this stuff all the time. And it's like, just leave me alone. They just want to be left alone. It's sad. And again, I think I think draws back to what I was talking about, I think a couple episodes ago, of just, you know, uh, the way boys are raised and the uh i guess part of the culture of being raised as a man being inherently predatory and problematic oh, oh. yikes man they're gonna eat he's gonna get eaten um. oh god he's gonna get oh is he gone is he gone already? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like him, I'll be honest with you. But like, honestly, he, he he took on a new light in my eyes with that blazer. I just want the blazer, that's fair. Okay, fine, just give me the blazer, do you know what I mean? Amazing, thank you for that imagery. I can't believe they just offed him like that, oh my god. He tried his hand at felony sexual assault. Legit, he did, yeah. But it's safe to say that in his animal state, his idea of wooing doesn't involve a Yanni CD. Yeah. The rest of the pack was mm. spotted outside Herbert the mascot's cage. It was sent to the principal's office. Good, that'll show him. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Tell him, Giles. Did it show him? No, no. They didn't hurt him, did they? They, uh... Well... Ate him. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, though. If you're gonna go out, what a way to go out. They ate Principal Flutie? Ate him up? Yeah, let's keep talking about it. Why not? One, one should be able to transfer the spirits to another human. Well, that's great. Any volunteers? Yeah, right. Bet you that zookeeper could help us. Yeah, he was... He was very creepy. He knew something, didn't he? <laughs> How are you not running already, dude? Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on. Well, that was a little bit of a turn. Okay. Wow. No, put that back in your mouth, son. Oh, thank you. All right. They're cool. We cool. What a peculiar episode. I do like it, though. I d <laughs> Probably says more about me. What am I doing here? Oh, he's back. Oh, she's gonna let him out, but I don't think he's cured. He's not cured. Buffy and her all put a solution. Oh, maybe it's a trick. I'd love to see what you do to somebody who was really sick. Yeah, it's a trick. Okay. Before she came here, our lives didn't need that much saving, did they? Yeah, okay, no, it's a trick. He's still hyena boy. Maybe. Oh, Willow, come on, man. Oh, you're gonna get hurt again, dude. You're doing what you're told. Oh, don't break her down like that, dude. Well, if I'm so dangerous, how come she left you alone with me? I told her to. I know you better than she does. Mm-hmm. Don't buy it. You're very close to the cage, Willow, by the way. No. Oh, God. No. Oh, my God, dude. Dude. Yep. Yep. Now I know. Ah, good. <laughs> Clever girl. Well done, mate. You don't seem enormously surprised by this. Right. That particular breed is very rare. Tell me more. It's primals. Oh. Yeah, creepy guys. Tell me, I love this. I love the mythology, dude. Do you have Sherman Jeffrey's work on, on cults and their Boys. Right? <laughs> Time and place, Giles. We could pull off a reverse transpossession. He knows a lot. I'll meet you there. We can begin the ritual. Oh, he knows too much. No, no, no. I don't trust this guy at all. After hyenas feed and rest, they will track the missing member of their pack until they find him. He knows. Wait, no, no, no. No trust. No. Come on, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. Willow. Oh, the calling the name and that uh, fair enough. I like it. <laughs> Just takes off, no hesitation. Fair play to you, mate. Oh man, well done. <laughs> Her survival instinct is strong. <laughs> Stop sniffing. Oh my god, I tell you what, that blonde guy is selling that. Dear Lord, son. To be fair to him, like all of the uh, all of the kids playing the hyenas are actually doing really well. It's such a it's such a hard thing to pull off. I mean, okay, maybe not at all times, right? Okay, there's an element of cringe there, but honestly, they're kind of they're kind of hitting the mark more often than they're not. I feel considering what they have to do, right? I just appreciate how hard it is not to look cringe, <laughs> and they're pulling it off a little bit. 
Que can? Individually, they're almost as strong as you. As a group, they're, they're tough. Mm. I think they're getting stupider. Because they're hungry. Joey, chew. You have to chew or you'll choke. Every time we see them. Oh, he's going to choke. This boy choking. Where are the keys? Is he chewing on the keys? Oh, what a mix up, Joey. <laughs> what kind of spider hyenas are these guys? Like, for real. Why would you put yourself in prime kicking position? You know what you want. You want to see speed. <laughs> Where's the zookeeper? Uh, he must be inside. Oh, this zookeeper's so sus, man. Doctor? Doctor, doctor. Of course. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. You, uh, All right, Giles, come on. For the transpossession? Oh, he prepared, son. Oh, he prepped. Right. The, uh, need that to... Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, This would be mm -hmm. here when... Yeah, come on, Giles. Bit quicker, mate. Why would you... Yeah. A terribly frustrating for you that a bunch of school children could accomplish what you could not. Uh. Huh. <laughs> what a move. Boy's been practicing stick work. Stay back. They haven't been fed. Willow, ask more questions, please. What's with the paint? They're almost here. Shouldn't you bring the hyenas out? Hey, mate, your face is very blue. Do you know, it's just one of them. Just one of those. Willow, you are literally getting tied up. Like, my man. Dude, how? What? What is this? Predatory act, remember? You'll pretend to slash my throat and... Dude. Okay, Willow. Fuck me, it's a trap! Well done. You by your saddle! Are they all gonna go into... Is he gonna turn into a five-headed hyena? Like, what? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And not been funny, like best for us all that he he bit it really, because like how how do you, I was just thinking that like during that fight, how do you incarcerate that man? So oh yeah, by the way, he's, he's trying to you know possess people with hyenas. It's like what, what, you know, <sighs> man. They can find a replacement. Oh my god, I forgot that he got eaten. What a champ! Well done, dude. I tell you what, he he wore a mean blazer for the last episode. Power. Oh my god, I ate a pig. No, you I mean, were fine. Oh, he did eat the pig. Of course he did. Sorry, I was thinking about the principal. Nice hat. Very sunny. Why are you wearing a hat, dude? I cannot find anything anywhere about oh. memory loss afterwards. Uh, Did you tell them that? Your secret dies with me. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. That was the pack. That was an interesting episode. I will be completely honest with you. Like, it's weird, right? Okay. It, well, it was. It was weird. Um, right. So it's weird. Stop saying that word. It's a very odd episode, but I feel like for me, honestly, coming off of it in a good way, I do think at some point, like, I do, f I did find some of the things funnier than maybe they were supposed to be. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it was supposed to be a little bit comical at certain points. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's uh, the cringe factor some of you have been talking about that, you know, season one kind of falls into. But for me, I found the weirdness kind of oddly, I don't know, interesting. I just find it interesting. I, it's really hard dialogue slash script, right? As an actor, if you see that in the script, you're like, dear Lord, I have to, like, make that look cool or good or, you know, pull it off. You know, I've got to sniff Sanders' neck and just be like, you know what I mean like it's weird it's weird like you can play that however you want it's probably nine, nine times out of ten like you're risking weirdness right you're you're risking cringe okay but I think considering that they did a pretty good job I think for me again I found I guess entertainment in that uh maybe maybe not in the way that it was supposed to be translated but all the same it, it, does it really matter as long as i was entertained do you know what i mean <laughs> i really enjoyed it but good no so far look hey uh i can't remember how many episodes there are in season one i know there are less um i feel like we're ne around halfway through the season if not halfway through the season i feel like there's maybe 12 i can't remember someone will correct me i'm sure in season one but yeah i guess i get well i guess i i guess i've identified it as like halfway through the season even if it's not uh so uh yeah yeah, I guess what I'll say is that I'm really enjoying the, like I say, the uh, eclectic uh, mix of episodes and Monster of the Week, and it feels different every episode, honestly. And, you know, we're finding out a little bit more about certain characters here or there. It's peppered through, right? You know, we're finding out a little bit of what it means to be Buffy and the Slayer and balancing, you know, being that and a teenage high school girl, right? And it's interesting, you know, for a show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, how little it does focus on the vampires, which I appreciate that. Again, you know, the monster thing and, and it being so different every week, I, I do appreciate that. And I, and I do think that has the effect that later down the line, if you do focus, and I assume it does focus on the vampires or the more traditional monsters a little bit more, it allows for that. You know, it gives the space for that and it makes it feel fresh if they want to do that. 
later down the line. And again, let's not forget last episode's seed uh, in the master still being down there, still kicking around, still having, you know, the odd episode, even, you know, Monster of the Week, right, with that guy and maybe having, you know, a little bit of a season long thing, something that, you know, touches shadows of that uh, throughout the whole season. You know, I don't know if that continues but i like that i like that it's just nice it's a nice mix of things it's a nice little formula i think if the show stayed like this the whole way through i'd need a little bit more but you know from what everyone's told me we get that so yeah we'll wait and see i suppose for that one but um thank you for watching um if you did enjoy this video by the way and you're new um hey consider subscribing that helps me out a great deal only do it if you enjoyed the video though if you didn't like the video why would you stick around i don't know why but some people do it's weird it's very weird but hey hey if you subscribed yet scroll down scroll down mate hey come on come on if i made you laugh once then that's the rule you gotta do it you gotta you just just just, just trust me trust me make like a possessed hyena and subscribe already thank you for watching <laughs> thank you as always to my patrons thank you uh, for supporting me oh my god thank you so much and until next time see you later